Thousands of worshippers gathered at Resurrection Gardens to witness the beginning of Maurice Cardinal Otunga's journey to sainthood, a process they have been expecting for the past five years. However, it takes time because a lot of things need to be considered. It's a process. And sometimes it can take years. It's not to say that it will take one year or it will take two years or it will take three years. That is difficult for anybody to say. As the priests and family members walked towards the tomb, joy was evident on their faces to see one of their own become a saint. It also means a lot to Catholic faithful because Otunga was the first cardinal in Kenya and they are hoping he will be the first saint. Peace prevailed at the tomb of Cardinal Otunga. The priests performed the necessary religious rites at the grave with a word of blessing. Worshippers crowded the area as they tried to see the grave of their late cardinal. As for Otunga's family, just being next to his resting place was comforting enough. And they fully appreciated the gravity of the moment and what it meant. Otunga came from very, very humble backgrounds, from the very, very poor, with the poor people in the western province in Bungoma. Uh, to reach this status, we are really humbled and we feel so happy about it. Retired Nairobi at Bishop Ningi Mananzeki was happy the canonization is taking place in Kenya as it gives Kenyans a chance to celebrate the life of one of their own. Church recognizes him by studying about his life, his work, his faith, his hope, and praying to him to do some miracle, something strange that does not happen in daily life. And then we declare such a person a saint. But it takes a long time. As the road to Otunga's sainthood begins, Catholic believers are enjoined in fervent prayer that he indeed becomes a saint.